Oi boys, welcome, welcome to another video on the channel, we are back with the Bulldogs career mode series, back with some rugby league world cup action, now I said I'd be taking a break from the Bulldogs, technically there is a little break, because we will be playing the rugby league world cup, truth be told I completely forgot about the rugby league world cup, and I told a sub earlier that I would be playing through it, so we're here, we may as well since we've got the updated like logos and, and equipment, but yeah, if you don't remember, the team I chose to play as for this Rugby League World Cup campaign is Tor Samoa. And unfortunately, if you play this game, you would already know that we don't get to pick the squads. We work with what we get given. And uh, thankfully, we've got a pretty decent squad for the Rugby League World Cup. With the little ratings overhaul before starting this career mode, it's looking somewhat realistic. A few bigger missions, but it's still a pretty a pretty good squad. So, starting with the back five, we've got Hamiso Tabuai Fado, Taylor May, Isaac Tungo on the left edge, Steve Crichton, and Brian Toll. So, pretty much the back five in real life, except for uh, the hammer. Fortunately, Joseph Swaali'i wasn't selected. I'm a little surprised that he wasn't too, to be honest. In the halves, we have Anthony Milford and Jerome Luai. The front row, we have Junior Paolo, Chanel Harris Tavita, and Tino Fa'asuo Maleawi. Now, before we start a new career mode, Tino will have to be updated to the Kangaroos. Now before we start a new career mode series, uh, Tino will be switched back to Australia. Not too sure who made this Tino, but his allegiance is with Samoa. I mean, we could just not use him, but where's the fun in that? As for the hooker, Harris Tavitsa has been a beast for us at hooker during our Ricky Young career mode, so I decided to throw him in here, but it does leave the bench lacking when it comes to Spark. You know what, we'll chuck, um, we'll chuck Jazz Tavanga at hooker, we'll throw Tino at lock and we'll keep Harris Tavita coming off the bench. I guess we can throw, uh, let's go with Hamlin Nuele, Harris Tavita in the 14. So yeah, Tavanga Hoka, Hamlin Nuele to start. In the back row we got, on the left edge, Luciano Leilua, right edge, Raymond Faitala Mariner, and Tino at lock. The bench now consists of Shadow Harris Tavita, Jaden Sua, Spencer Lenu, and Josh Aloy Ai. The rest of the 25 man squad, as you can see, plenty of uh, offshore talent, we got Charlie Staines in here, Chi Cam, even Philip Sami and Nathaniel Roach. I guess we can throw Roach to play hooker as well. At least we got a little bit of depth when it comes to that. For now, they're going to keep it with Harris Tavita coming off the bench, Tavanga to play in the nine. But yeah, this is our squad for game one, and we are taking on the Kiwis, so let's get right to it. All right, let's see what this Kiwi side will look like. Our well, boys running out first. I guess we'll take this time to remind you boys. If you do enjoy the content, be sure to run it straight at that like button. And don't forget to hit up that comment section with a hashtag odd squad. And I'll catch you boys down there. So this should be a pretty stacked QB squad. Um, we could have... Actually, we'll talk about it later. But as you can see here, the back five looking pretty realistic. The halves, we have Dylan Brown, Jerome Hughes, front row, the fish, Smith and Tapene, back row, Papali'i, Bromwich, and how do we deny her at lock? And the bench. You even got Kieran Foran on the bench. Well, this is about to get interesting. <laughs> we got a full strength New Zealand Kiwis team to take on here. And I can't wait. Dylan Brown to get us underway. Man, it sucks that we don't have Joey Sua Ali'i. Would have loved to uh, play as young Joey. Let's see if we can make some meters here through the middle. Got the fin going. Tried looking for a uh, supporter. Might kick early. Jokes, no power on that. We'll come back through the middle and get folded. You hate to see it. I would love to get like templates on or file sizes oh, yeah. of the field logos and all that stuff, even in the crowd, so we can update the game ourselves. Unfortunately, I'm not a data miner, so I have no clue on dimensions and all that. Can you believe that we're coming up on six years? since this game was released oh no hughes he gets there but he was over the line but they're saying held up that's interesting it's that one animation when it looks like they're on their knees i will take a quick look here this is the animation if you see this this will get caught held up but check it out he does get it down <laughs> that's like at the end of the animation all right let's go last play tied it up where's brown he's out wide <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, bro. Little double knock on. We'll take that. Need to clear my throat. Need a drink. I'll grab one in a sec. Big play to the right. Luai. 
plays out to fight Tyler Mariner. Defense collapses on Steve Crichton. I would have a shot to hit a draw and pass. Tino draws in two. Vitala Mariner feeling super slow. I don't like that. As we go back to the MILF, Tino finds our Lee Law. Even he feels a little slow. I'm just so used to uh, Isaac Tungle, to be honest. That's a beautiful ball. The support back inside. It's Jerome Luai. He makes it over, actually. We get the old back grab. And we, we drag one over for the first points. Look at that. It's Joey Tarpin hanging on. And Luai just makes it there. One thing I'm going to try and do with Critter this tournament. We have to. We have to pull off an interception. I'm slowly getting better at uh, setting up interceptions. Just playing it slow. Trying to draw and pass. Yeah. Absolute trash. <laughs> There's what not to do. Trying to draw and pass our way through the line. Halim Nwele. There we go, Milford. Looking to take on Joey Manu. But he gets tracked down. Tana Mariner. Smashed. Fifth and last. We've got Milf on the shorts. We can squeeze through. Pass goes to ground. Off a of Kiwi. Scooped up by Steve Carton. Not an interception. But we'll take it, baby. Another four pointer. An easy one for Critter. We are up 12 points to nil. Who would have thought? With around 13 left to go. We're getting lucky on those uh, little ricochets and all that. Let's get a kick off with Harris Tavita. Oh, that's going to be way too much. Will it sit up? No. I was just about to talk about how good it is to have another playmaker on the field. But that kick was tragic. Oh, boys. Did you guys see that... <laughs> That tragedy that was, uh... Oh, give me that. There's an interception for Critter. That doesn't count, though. I was going to talk about, uh... Romy. The one they call Romy. Jerome Luai. His little speech that he gave at Toto's wedding. How embarrassing was that? I was going to do a little odd takes video on it, but... I couldn't be bothered, to be honest. Those will be making a return. It won't be centered around... Uh, the shenanigans, but... I kind of like making trolley vids about those uh, those off-field dramas as we get Critter through. Oh, that's a beautiful ball. Brian Tuttle, they don't come any easier. Damn, just like that, we're up by 18 points. I don't think we'd get through because we're numbered up nicely. Uh, but this pass from Critter goes right past. Look at what's in his Lesniak. Watch as it go past his head. Straight to Brian Tuttle second half oh that's gone yep bruh all right let's go hunting for the big hit nothing doing there they got numbers to the left oh kill him. <sighs> that sidestep brutal Ooh. there's the hits prod brandon smith smashed beautiful ball Offload. Oh, tunnel. Too slow. Bro, that was hell. Some slick play there. And another. Oh, I thought we were straight through. Slowly cooking here with Samoa. Not going to lie. Throw up the bomb. <laughs> Absolute garbage. Man, that pass from Lu Ai in the previous set was perfect. Need to try to recreate that pass. Using the decoy run, it looked pretty realistic. As they come left. <coughs> we're right in the face of ice, Papali'i. Oh, I wasn't meant to kick. I was trying to do a flat cutout, uh, a flat pass with the A option. And I was spamming A. I accidentally grabbed it. Nice. Milford on Manu. Short here. They go back through the middle. Thought they were going left. Get in there, get in there. Watch Smith. Yes, he's gone. Hold the line, boys, hold the line. Damn, Harris Tavita at zero. Pull him off before he gets injured. Another good tackle. Isaac Tungle. Oh, the bomb. Back to Smith. 
and he's just in the right place at the right time. Bit of a weird one this, Hectic Cheese pinballing his way to the line, a ricocheted kick after a decent set defensively, Cheese finds his way over. Full time, full time, we come away with the first win of the Rugby League World Cup, taking down one of the powerhouses in the New Zealand Kiwis. Um, it was a good game. Attacking wise, the tries we did score, a little fortunate if you will. Um, <laughs> Brandon Smith figured out man of the match, that's a little harsh. As for the actual stats, Kiwis got a little more hands on ball, and they looked decent in patches, I mean they got 19 line breaks all up, I swear most of that was from Choi Imanu, but yeah we kick off our World Cup campaign with a, with a pretty impressive win, we're gonna wrap it up there as always if you enjoyed that, if you'd like to see more rugby league related content and more content in general, be sure to sub to the channel and don't forget to run straight to that like button, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you, 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 you. later.